The Secret of the Sandnerk Law, Black Caps Spinner Trying to Keep Mystery Ball Hidden. The Secret of the Sandnerk Law, Black Caps Spinner Trying to Keep Mystery Ball Hidden. With the quickfire wickets of Pakistan batsman Harris Sohail and Shadab Khan, Mitchell Sandner broke a dangerous partnership and set New Zealand on the road to a 5-0 series sweep in Wellington. Now for Mitchell Sandner's next trick. Having unveiled his mystery ball, the Sandner claw, if you will, the New Zealand left-arm spinner's next task is trying to somehow disguise it from Australian and English batsmen next month. Sandner was Captain Kane Williamson's go-to man as Pakistan stormed back into the fifth one-day international in Wellington on Friday, breaking the dangerous partnership of Harris Sohail and Shadab Khan and ending with 340 in the Black Caps' 15-run win, which saw them sweep the series 5-0. Mitchell Sandner has honed his care on ball and got a result when he bamboozled old Pakistan's Fakir Zaman with it in Hamilton. In Game 4 in Hamilton he bamboozled old Fakir Zaman with a care on ball in the mold of India's Ravikandran Ashwin and Sri Lanka's Ajantha Mendes. Flicked out with the middle finger, in the same style used in the traditional Indian Karam game. The ball spun the other way to Sandner's orthodox delivery and bowled Zaman as he charged. Captain Kane Williamson and his New Zealand team celebrate their 5-0 one-day series win over Pakistan after a 15-run victory at Wellington's Basin Reserve. There's one problem now. Everyone knows about it, so the mystery ball somehow has to become mysterious again. I've been trying it in the nets for a while now. It's like a carom ball, a similar grip to Ashwin. If the wicket suits I use it a little bit more, Sandner said. But you guys have been analyzing it quite a bit now so I might have to put it away and I might have to try and disguise it a bit more because every time I look up it's on the big screen. Sandner doesn't have a name for his new delivery but said he wasn't averse to Sandner Claw. He watched Ashwin bowl his carom ball against New Zealand in the 2016 Test Series and modeled his grip on the Indian off spinners. I thought that's not a bad ball and thought it'd give it a crack. I used it in county cricket in some of the 2020 stuff over there. On a wicket that spins it's a bit better because it's hard to put a lot of revs on it because I'm just flicking it out. For Sandner, well established as New Zealand's premier white ball bowler, it adds another element to his game on top of subtle changes of pace in the mold of Daniel Vettori. Leg spinners like his T20 partner in crime Ish City have the googly that turns the other way, so now Sandner has another bowling weapon to create doubt in the batsman's mind. After the three-match T20 series against Pakistan, starting at Wellington's West Pak Stadium on Monday, New Zealand take on Australia and England in a T20 tri-series before 5 odas against England. Sandner watched some of the first two odas from Australia where a bullish England side took a 2-0 series lead. Having lost 3-2 in the 2015 series in England, then suffer a defeat to the host nation at the Champions Trophy in June, there is a sense of unfinished business when they arrive next month. They are a very good Oda side and so are Aussie. England come out very hot and go from ball one and look to continue. If we can get some wickets at the top and try to stem that run rate a little bit. Monday provides an opportunity for New Zealand to stretch their home winning sequence to 13 across the formats, having won 12 straight at home against Pakistan, Bangladesh and Australia last summer. 
In familiar conditions England will provide the best gauge of where the black caps are at, but Sandner still felt they had been sternly tested in recent weeks. Pakistan are champions trophy winners and West Indies are T20 champions so we have come up against good sides. We have played pretty good cricket and the scoreline suggests we might have been all over them but I don't think it was like that. They both played good cricket at times and we put them under a lot of pressure.